Members will record their votes by electronic device. This is a five minute vote. In the Republican led U.S. House, it was not a vote on a bill, it was a vote on the rules for talking about a bill. And yet, moments later, on this vote, the yeas are 193, the nays are 228. The resolution is not adopted. That's right. The Republican majority could not even find a way to start debate. In the 118th Congress, this failure has now happened seven times, as noted by Ranking Rules Committee Democrat Jim McGovern. This is the most ineffective, incompetent majority, I think, in American history. Full stop. It has been nearly an entire year, an entire year almost, since anything that we have done in the Rules Committee has gone to the President's desk. And the last time it did happen, it was with Democratic votes. Republicans have tried and failed to pass their own rules seven times this Congress. Seven times this House has been stuck at a standstill uh, because of their infighting. Before this Congress, it had been 20 years since a rule failed. It's been 50 years, half a century, since we've seen this many rules go down. And Republicans have done it seven times. One or two, three times maybe, that's just incompetence. But seven? Seven is a disaster. Seven is paralysis. It means, it means weeks and weeks of sitting around doing nothing because Republicans can't get their house in order and do their job. And by not doing their job, lawmakers are hurting Americans and people around the globe, including most gruesomely right now, the citizens of Ukraine. More on that in a moment. To put the U.S. House paralysis and gridlock in perspective, consider this. The nonpartisan website GovTrack.us, which keeps track of Congress, says the 118th Congress has enacted 47 pieces of legislation. Given that two-thirds of the congressional calendar is already in the books, the site projects that this Congress will pass a total of 71 pieces of legislation or bills. The previous record low for congressional productivity the past 50 years was 284 bills. That came in the 112th Congress from 2011 to 2013. In other words, this Republican-led 118th Congress is on track to be four times less productive than the least productive Congress of the past half century. But it gets even worse when you look at what this Congress has passed. The biggest accomplishments have been stopgap measures to keep the government running. Aside from that, Congress has renamed post offices and veterans medical centers, passed a bill to allow Secret Service agents to earn overtime pay, and created a coin to celebrate the 250th anniversary of the Marine Corps. The most outspoken conservative lawmakers in Congress admit that GOP dysfunction has been an unprecedented failure. Well, I feel like many of the American people that think that Republicans in Congress completely fail them. I feel the same way, and I'm a Republican member of Congress. Just months ago, Republican Chip Roy of Texas made the same point. One thing. I want my Republican colleagues to give me one thing, one, that I can go campaign on and say we did. One. Anybody sitting in the complex, if you want to come down to the floor and come explain to me one material, meaningful, significant thing the Republican majority has done besides, well, I guess it's not as bad as the Democrats. As Axios reports, Capitol Hill stunner 2023 led to fewest laws in decades. Quote, the 118th Congress is on track to be one of the most unproductive in modern history. In the meantime, NBC News headline, Ukraine digs defense, fears it could lose war without U.S. aid as Russia steps up attacks. Quote, force back, Ukraine is now digging in to stop a collapse across the war's front lines as Russia attacks and American delays leave Kiev and its allies to confront the possibility of a painful defeat. A $61 billion aid package has been stuck in Congress for months, leaving Ukraine exposed on the front lines, running out of ammunition and men, while its energy system now faces an onslaught that is exposing its depleted air defenses. The shortage has forced Kiev's military to withdraw from a key eastern city in February, and with no progress in Washington, Ukrainian soldiers are now desperately trying to hold onto their positions along some 600 miles of the front line. With each passing day, the challenge for Ukraine gets even more difficult. Russia is ramping up its strikes on Ukrainian energy infrastructure now. Russian missiles and drones, uh, part of the largest, and Kyiv's largest power plant, rather, uh, damaged, as were other plants across the country. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky growing desperate now with his calls for more international aid, including from the U.S. Once you start messing with the, the electrical grid, once you start messing with the water flow, water treatment, all of that, it, it, it impacts the morale. 
and morale has been high within Ukraine for the last two plus years. They don't seem to have stopped in their in their lexicon. But Russia can see the internal debate that's going on in the United States, that's going on within NATO, and they're taking advantage of this by hitting them in a way that they haven't hit them uh, since they invaded. In other words, the U.S. congressional inaction is giving a boost to Russia, which is pounding Ukraine harder than ever. And that means images like this of a top Ukrainian power generating plant on fire after being hit by Russian missiles. The missiles are getting through in part because the anti-missile defense systems given by the United States have not been resupplied. As angry staffer wrote on X, this is on Mike Johnson and the Republican Party. Russia has been almost exclusively targeting critical Ukrainian infrastructure for two weeks, and we could provide the means to stop it. However, the U.S. congressional gridlock and dysfunction continues. So the legacy of the Republican-led 118th Congress is getting worse. Not only is this Congress on track to be the least productive and least effective in U.S. history, it will be a Congress that is setting up Ukraine, a U.S. ally, for a horrific and awful defeat. And if Ukraine falls, Russia has already indicated that it will target other Eastern European countries next, including NATO member Poland. Unfortunately, U.S. domestic politics and congressional dysfunction matters in America and matters around the world. And this congressional dysfunction is off the charts. By the way, Donald Trump is raging as the conservative Drudge Report hammers him with facts. And the trend lines are all breaking Joe Biden's way. I mean, if you look at the top of Drudge, if you're Trump, you probably would jump off the Brooklyn Bridge. Biden beating Trump in majority of polls. Joe now clear fave in online betting. Trump's first criminal trial set to begin. His CFO sent to Rikers prison. In his own videos, Trump is erupting. All of these cases that you're reading about are crooked Joe Biden's case because he can't put two sentences together. He can't do anything. So they weaponize government and they take me to court on bullshit. So we are going to win. We're going to win big. Not according to the latest polls. You see Joe Biden since January within the margin of error, kind of at this at the same spot, if we can look at that first, but there it is. Mm -hmm. uh, what you also see, though, on the bottom is erosion for Donald Trump. Crooked Joe Biden, the worst and most corrupt president in the history of the United States by far. The trend lines are, are pretty strong for Biden coming out of the, again, still coming out of the State of the Union. He is a criminal. He is a horrible president. He's the worst president in the history of our country. Mm, check out that video at the link below. It generated a lot of comments on YouTube, one of the most popular from Brian Illenberg, who wrote, seriously, there's no reason to let anyone that commits treason anywhere but jail, much less on the ballot. I hear you. I look forward to reading your comments about the Republican House getting put on blast for its historic legislative failures. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.